It's certainly cold again across eastern Kentucky today, but not as cold as yesterday. And we actually have plenty of sunshine right now across the mountains. Let's go to pinpoint Doppler radar where we are seeing nice and dry conditions. And uh, overall, it's not too bad out there. Temperature wise, still into the upper 20s for most of us. And as we slide from the Big Sandy down to the Cumberland Valley, you can see it's generally in the upper 20s, some of us near 30. Overall, just a cool day, but not as cold as we have been. We go out to the big picture, you can see the clouds moving out, the snow off to the north and east. Not really going to affect us here in eastern Kentucky. We are staying nice and dry. High pressure building back in, going to give us a clear and dry weekend. And uh, overall, definitely just a chilly start to tomorrow check out the 24-hour planner it's going to be a cold night tonight my friends no bones about it we're going from the 20s into the teens by midnight single digits by tomorrow morning factor in the wind wind chill values near zero so it'll feel pretty cold out there not as cold as what we were the other night but uh, definitely need to bundle up if you have to be out early tomorrow and then highs uh, tomorrow afternoon <clears throat> excuse me going to be into the upper 20s Regional temperature is showing uh, still plenty of cold air off to the north and the west, but the biggest part of that is going to pass by off to our north. We put the surface map into motion, and you can see most of the weekend we are staying nice and dry. High pressure is going to control our weather. That gives us that sinking air, which keeps the skies clear. Definitely on the chilly side tomorrow, but Sunday things start to warm up. Although, as you notice, we go towards Monday morning, a few rain showers off to our west, and some of the other computer models trying to bring that in here a little bit quicker and maybe as a little bit of freezing rain Monday morning. That's something we're going to have to watch for. Future view showing the chill for tomorrow morning, though. We go from the 20s tonight down into the teens and single digits tomorrow morning, and then as we go into Saturday afternoon, only in the upper 20s. So another cold one, but we go into Sunday, that's when those temperatures really rebound. Top Dropping off into the 40s. In fact, some locations will probably make a run at around 45 or so. But next week looking really messy. The overall pattern showing colder air staying off to the north, warmer air staying off to the south. We're going to be right on that boundary between the two. And that's going to create two storm systems, which are going to give us chances of wintry mix multiple days next week. You'll see that here on the seven day forecast. 27 for your high tomorrow, 20 for your low on Sunday, going to 45 for a high Sunday. Monday, Starting off with maybe a little freezing rain, changing to plain rain, then going to wintry mix in the evening, maybe some snow Tuesday morning. I think some of us will be dry. The precipitation won't be as widespread Tuesday. And then Wednesday into Thursday, another round of wintry mix or two. Better chance of the frozen stuff during the morning and during the night, during the rain, or during the day, it should be mainly rain. So, Steve, forecast looking pretty messy for next week, but at least for the uh, last two rounds of the Mountain Classic tonight and tomorrow, the weather looking dry, just cold. All right, Shane.